Okay, here's how to get a level four uh, in your essay. The first thing you will need is an introductory paragraph, and in that introductory paragraph you will need a grabber. And what the grabber is, is uh, a general introduction about the topic of your essay. It's basically three or four sentences that introduce the topic. So for instance, if I'm going to write an essay about how Romeo made choices that contributed to his downfall, I might have a grabber that talks about, in general, something society can relate to or your reader can relate to, like the difference between free choice and fate, and that some people believe we have choice while others believe we don't, and that our lives are guided by fate. Something like that that, that introduces the topic and grabs the attention of your reader. The next thing you will need to do is um, include a thesis statement. So the thesis statement is a sentence or so that explains the main idea of your essay. So for my essay about Romeo's choices, my thesis statement would be in the play Romeo and Juliet, Romeo made choices that contributed to his downfall. So that's the main idea of the essay. With that main idea though, you need three scope points. So these are three arguments that prove the thesis statement. So I might have three choices that Romeo made that contributed to his downfall. So you get more specific with the scopes. Each of these, the thesis statement and the three scopes, should be in separate sentences now. You need to be explaining a little bit in your introductory paragraph. In grade seven and eight, it's okay to include all of this in one sentence, but now we need to show a little bit more thinking. Each body paragraph will need a few things. First of all, a topic sentence that indicates what the topic of that paragraph is. So if you're talking about Romeo's choices, your topic sentence would, would uh, describe the first thing that the first choice he made that contributed to his downfall, but include a transition word as well. Uh, first of all, Romeo's choice to do X, Y, or Z contributed to his downfall. So make sure you have that transition word and a clear topic sentence. It should be crystal clear. I should be able to see it right away. The next thing you need are two or three quote sandwiches. Quote sandwiches uh, are where you get your level four. This is where you show me your thinking. So quote sandwiches are quotes that prove that thesis or that topic sentence that uh, you mentioned already. And it also, the quote sandwiches do prove the thesis statement as well. And finally, in your paragraph, you need a concluding sentence to wrap it all up and signal to the reader that you're finished that idea and you're moving on to your next idea. Quote sandwiches, uh, like I said, are where you get your level four. This is where you show your thinking. This is where you show me how smart you are, that you can analyze and interpret and explain. So the first thing you'll need to do is introduce the quote. Uh, tell me where... You, uh, what was happening in the story when, you, when the quote was spoken. Tell me who was speaking um, the quote, who said the quote, and why, what was going on. Set the context for the quote. So that's how you introduce it. So that would be the top bun of your quote sandwich. The next thing you need to do is say the quote State it word for word in quotation marks with a citation in brackets. Tell me the quote that proves the topic of that paragraph and the thesis of the essay. So that would be your meat of your sandwich. The last thing you need to do, and this is where you get your level four, explain the quote, especially with Shakespeare, explain what it means, but also Explain what it proves. How does it prove the topic of that paragraph? How does it prove the thesis statement? This will be the bottom bun of your quote sandwich. Finally, uh, at the end of your essay, you need a works cited page. Be sure to have this title, works cited, no embellishments, no bold, no italics, no underlining, and make sure it's 12 point font. Make sure you have three spaces, line spaces between the title 
and the first entry of your works cited. Um, what a works cited page is, is information about the book that you used to get the quotes from. This is to avoid plagiarism and show the reader that you took or borrowed ideas from other sources to prove your point. So start with the author last name on the works cited page. Um, pay attention to the punctuation for sure. That makes the difference between a level three and a four. Put the title of the book in italics or underline if you can't do italics for some reason. The city that the book was published in with the publisher. The year. And then you need the word print because it's a print source. If you were using the internet, you would write web. Um, internet sources are a little different than book sources, so we'll go over that in class if you used a, um, a website instead of a book to get your quotes from. Make sure you indent the second line so that way the author's name stands out. If you don't use a second line, that's fine. Just take this information and put it at the end of the first line. Here we have a sample introductory paragraph. Um, this is for our Sample essay, Romeo uh, made choices that contributed to his downfall. So what you'll see in this sample paragraph is a grabber of two or three sentences. You will see a thesis statement. We can't use italics for the book title here because this program doesn't let me and it doesn't let me underline. So, uh, but make sure you do that in your essay. And then come the three scope points. So let's take a look at all of that in detail. Here's my grabber. Some people believe that fate determines our actions. Others believe that our actions are by choice and we have complete control. Whatever people believe, we must agree that there is a reason behind what people do, whether or not it's fate or free will. So there's my grabber talking about fate and choices, just general statements to get the audience interested. Okay, here's my thesis statement. In the play Romeo and Juliet by William Shakespeare, Romeo's own choices caused his downfall. It's crystal clear. It's level four. This essay is going to be about choices causing his downfall. Now I need to have my three scopes. What are the three choices he made that prove that his choices caused his downfall? Well, first of all, transition. Romeo chose to go to a party he was expressly forbidden to go to. Secondly, Romeo chose to go see Juliet after the party, which directly led to the marriage proposal. And finally, Romeo chose to kill Tybalt, an act that directly impacted his life and caused his banishment. Romeo alone is to blame for his tragic demise. So there we have a level four crystal clear introductory paragraph. Grabber, thesis, should be italicized, and three scope points. And each of these scope points can also be topic sentences later in the essay, but you have to reword them a little bit. You can't copy them directly or your essay s sounds too mechanical. At the end, um, and at the end of this presentation, now I'd just like to show you a quote sandwich. So within a paragraph, this is only part of a paragraph right here. This would be probably one half of the paragraph. This is your first quote sandwich and then you'd have a second quote sandwich down here. Not to mention a topic sentence and concluding sentence. So you can see how how long paragraphs should really be for a level four. So here's my quote sandwich. I have to have a top bun. I have to have the meat which is the quote and then the bottom bun which is the explanation of the quote. And don't forget, the explanation of the quote here is where you get your four plus. It shows your thinking, it shows how smart you are, and that you're able to analyze and evaluate. So here's the quote sandwich, top bun. Before the party begins, a servant of Capulet runs into Romeo and his friends and asks Romeo for help reading the invitation list. Romeo does so and questions the servant about the party.
the servant replies. So there is the top bun. It sets up the situation that we find the quote in. Okay, here's the quote. If you not be of the house of Montagues, I pray, come and crush a cup of wine. So there's the quote. Notice the citation. We have capital Roman numeral for act, small Roman numeral for scene, and regular number for line. So there is the quote. Okay, next, my thinking. Here is my four plus thinking. The servant expressly told Romeo that the Montagues weren't invited, and yet Romeo chose to go anyway. That single act set off a line of events that ended with his death. So what I'm showing here is that Romeo's choice to go to a party that he wasn't invited to and was in fact told not to go to, Romeo's choice to do that is what set off this line of events, how he met Juliet and got married and got banished and then killed Tybalt, or well, killed Tybalt, then got banished, and then he himself committed suicide. So that's where your thinking comes in, explaining the topic, uh, which was being invited to the party, or well, going to a party he wasn't invited to, and then also explains the thesis that that choice caused his downfall. And then you can see I'm now transitioning here to the next quote. Later on at the party, Tybalt sees Romeo, and then I'll probably put a quote in there about how Tybalt uh, was angry to see Romeo at the party, which is further proof that he wasn't invited, yet he chose to go somewhere he didn't belong, and that caused his downfall.